Okay, the purpose of this video is to help you know where to go to get your PC, full PC and system specs. Um, I know a lot of times some people don't know how much RAM they have or what their page file is. But by the way, a page file is a essentially RAM, but it uses your hard drive space. And uh, it's not as good as RAM, but you do want to have a page file. I know some people that always disable it, and that's a mistake. So, anyways, this is how you're going to want to learn things about your computer in Vista. In XP, it's about the same, but the menus will look a little bit different. So the first thing to do in Windows is Vista, anyways. Start, and then right-hand click on Computer, or My Computer, and Properties. And here you'll see... Your, your experience index, your processor, how much RAM you've got if you're running a 32 or a 64 bit operating system, the name of your computer, full name of your computer, computer description, if you're a work group or domain, and your activation status, and what service pack, copyright, and build you are. So that's pretty, that's, that's the main stuff. Then you can click uh, where it's blue, that's a link, next to x.x, Windows Vista Experience Index. You can click that, and you can see your scoring out of 0, actually I believe it's 1, to 5.9. It rates your hardware. And then your lowest score is what your whole computer is, which I think is wrong. But anyways, you can see what's holding your computer back from being better. Look at that, that's good. At, uh, below primary hard disk, you'll see view and print detail. Click that. It'll bring this window up, and then you get a lot more information. Your hard disk, your optical drives, your video card, um, your screen, and then your network ports. Uh, you, you get a whole bunch more stuff here that's interesting to look at. And then I think the last place to look at for system information is system information. Start and type in system inform there it is system information first one under programs here it is system summary on the left by the tabs and you'll see OS name version other OS description operating system manufacturer system name system manufacturer manufacturer you'll see all of this all of this stuff in here that's kind of interesting like your page file um, page file space 3.29 gig for me and then uh, so, so that's good to uh, to look at occasionally and see what you're dealing with in XP you go right and click on my computer properties and instead of getting this window you'll get something about an eight or a fourth that size and um, it'll tell you about the same stuff with a few tabs a little bit different though but anyways, you can learn quite a bit about your computer in here, and also in your BIOS. When you first turn on the computer and there's a screen that says Dell or HP, Asus, Acer, whatever kind of computer you have, maybe E-Machine, um, then you hit, if it's a Dell, I think it's F2. If it's an HP or a Compact, I'm pretty sure it's F10, but it's usually one of the F keys or Escape that'll um, open up your BIOS. Now, be careful in there and don't mess around. But uh, you can see usually the first page of the BIOS is system specs or something like that. And then if you go on the left, back to system information, if you go on the left to uh, the components tab and expand that, then you'll see problem devices, second from the bottom. If you click that and there's a couple things in here, it gives you an error code, tells you what's wrong, and then that's something wrong with your computer hardware or software or something that's, something that's well, a problem that's not working. So that's good to keep an eye on, like I don't have anything. But then you can look around in here, click display, and then you get all a whole bunch of information about your display. Your adapter RAM, for me it's 128 meg. Your CD-ROM, it'll take a couple seconds to refresh the system information, but that's good. And uh, everything looks okay here. But you really can, I don't think you can screw up in here unless you try to edit stuff. I, I don't think it'll let you. No, well. But anyways, it's good to look in here and you can learn a whole bunch about your computer if you're nerdy enough to care. So hopefully that can help you and uh, thank you for watching.